We would all love to go back to simpler times, especially as we consider the mess our world is in today. Hello, my name is Tyler Candy, and I am the media director here at Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. Thank you for spending your time with us today. We are in a subscription campaign right now, and if you'd like to learn more about this, you can click on the link in the card above or in the description below. The short version is that we need you to like and share this video with those that you know. This will allow our channel to be seen by many people with the hopes that we will continue to grow our platform. If you aren't subscribed yet, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and tap the notification bell icon to be notified when we post new videos each and every day. As we listen to our pastor, Dr. Brad Winninger, sing an original song in this revisited from the shepherd to the sheep, let's thank God for our biblical roots and our godly legacy. Just like a Norman Rockwell painting, that was my hometown. No locks on the door looking out for the poor with God-fearing folks all around. Baseball and mom and apple pie and oh glory waving high. Just like a Norman Rockwell painting, that was my hometown. Let's go back to where we got off track. Maybe old paths can be found. In God we trust is the way we must reclaim our old hometown. Baseball and mom and apple pie and old glory waving high. Just like a Norman Rockwell painting, that was my hometown. Those days, Sundays were the one day when folks would come to town. In the shadow of the steeple, Jesus-loving people blended glorious gospel sounds. After the word was spoken, the circle wasn't broken, the family had dinner on the ground. Just like a Norman Rockwell painting, that was my hometown. Let's go back to where we got off track. Maybe old paths can be found. In God we trust is the way we must reclaim our old hometown. In the shadow of the steeple, Jesus loving people blended glorious gospel sounds. Just like a Norman Rockwell painting, that was my hometown. Just like a Norman Rockwell painting, just like a Norman Rockwell painting, just like a Norman Rockwell painting, that was my hometown. Just like a Norman Rockwell painting, how many of you remember those? Saturday Evening Post, he had one every edition, and many of those are famous, and they're they're folksy and homespun, and I just love it. It's, uh, it's small town uh, Americana, uh, and uh, it's what I remember uh, about my growing up years. I remember when there were no locks on the doors and people weren't afraid, and, and uh, I remember when uh, things were better. Those were the, the good old days as far as I am concerned, as far as my memory is concerned. We have, I think, a, a section of Scripture that, if Norman Rockwell were to paint, it would be a classic. Over in Psalm 128 and verse number three, we have a picture of the family. And it seems almost foreign today. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. The family is under attack today. And of course, there is a crack in so many, many homes because People don't have that unity. They don't have that spiritual glue hold, holding them together as in perhaps past generations. What we need to bring back is that, uh, that family dinner. We need to bring back that table around which everybody sits and, and reflects on their day and thanks God for good things and prays together. What a, what a wonderful, what a wonderful uh, tradition. We need to bring that back. So I'm, I'm saying to you today, just like a Norman Rockwell painting. Let's bring back those good things, all right? Father, we thank you so much for the privilege of living out 
what the Bible has to say for the family. And I pray that today you'll bless the families, help each one of them to get back to those <coughs> solid moorings of the past. Pray that we might gather around the table and might thank you for your goodness and we might have that spiritual unity that we are lacking today in so many places. While our heads are bowed and eyes are closed, if you've never received Christ as Savior, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Would you pray right now with me? Something like this. Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner. I need a Savior. Right now I receive Christ into my life. Please save me and take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. If you prayed that prayer, let us know. We'd love to be a help to you. Soul winners, why don't you check in? Let us know how it's going. Winning souls to Christ. And uh, folks, let's pray for a revival in our land. Lord, we do pray that you'll touch hearts and begin with the Christians. Begin right here and right now with us. And we'll thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, there it is. Just like a Norman Rockwell painting, that was my hometown. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.